hell nah, you can't get in this session. Where was you when I was in the entrapping? Been the corner like X on. Oh, what's up, people? Thank you for tuning in for another video. Man, that video yesterday, it literally took... I started uploading it at 3 o'clock, and it didn't upload till sometime this morning. Like, I don't even know what's going on with the internet. I couldn't even watch TV. So, anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, guys, this will be my first ever, like, ever, ever, ever makeup, I guess, tutorial, um, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm using all new makeup products or whatever while I'm getting into it. I'm going to start with this Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas. Um, raves, raves, raves. A lot of people use it. Um, this is what the mini looks like. I have my ring light going on, and basically, it's a velvet, 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 <laughs> velvet, velvet, <laughs> velvetly smoothing bomb of pressing silk that primes and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out the skin preventing clog pores and breakout dot a rice grain on the face with the uh, fingertips and massage massaging to skin suitable for face eyes and lips um lots of people uh pretty much rave 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 about this um, Tati, Manny, M-U-A. It has a very light smell. That's what it kind of looks like. Okay. Um, it says a little bit. Pretty much goes a long way. Um, Laura Lee. Laura Lee and I'm sure there are others out there but those are the people that I've seen so far rave 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 about that um as you can see I got my little makeup headband it's about to get real guys um, I'm just gonna, I'm probably using way too much product, but I just want to make sure my whole face is covered. It just feels so good on the skin. It's very soft. It feels kind of moisturizing, actually. I can tell that a little goes a long way. Now, when I do my makeup brows, I kind of just use um, my makeup brows, my eyebrows. I kind of just use two little things, really. Um, I just go in with um this is the Odie but goodie i've been using this this is my benefit precisely my brow eyebrow pencil that's pretty much what i'm using and um i don't even know what color this is it's some dark color i've had it for a while and i'm just gonna lightly do my eyebrows i'm not really gonna it's kind of late and i'm not really going anywhere after i do my makeup
So. Yeah, I just, I don't really have a, a like, set in stone way of doing them. I just kind of like fill them in a little bit. And I fill them in a little bit and. Can you tell the difference this one versus this one yes you can <laughs> even on camera like and this one my left one i really hate doing because like the front of it is so loud also guys i apologize for my super long videos lately. I don't know. It's all the talking I've been doing. Like. Gosh. But the good thing about doing my brows, um, even on my left eye, is the brow pencil kind of tames it a little bit. So see, you can see. And then that's pretty much it for the eyebrows. I really don't spend that much time. The look kind of comes together as the makeup comes together. It's just they're so bushy right there. Yeah, I hate it. I don't really uh wax or anything my eyebrows because they're so thin. Then this is the Odie but goodie. This is the Great Lash by Mab Maybelline New York. And this is the brownish black. Uh, mascara, and this is just how I go in and seal my wonderful lashes. Okay, lashes are done. They are set. They are ready. So then what I pretty much do is, um, this is the concealer Stay Naked by Urban Decay in the color 70WO. And I normally put this on my eyes. I use concealer on my eyes just so that my colors can pop because I'm going in with my makeup look. And this is what I normally do. <clears throat> Let me get my wipes. <clears throat> if you are a makeup person, keep wipes on deck. Okay, so then I just get my wipes. And... They've already been primed. I normally like to do a lighter concealer, but just because this is what I'm using today, this is what I'm using today. Okay. This is the Urban Decay. And I just like to take my finger and I like to blend it in. It is very blendable, guys. 
Oh, very easy to blend. When I move into the face, I'll be able to give you like uh, a better detail, but it blends in very good with my finger and it spreads out very good on this arm. Um, Okay. Okay. Go in and do the other eye. I'm trying not to make this video very long. But I want to cover the products and use the products <sighs> and give y'all my honest opinion about them but this urban decay i can tell like my eyelid looks very moisturized guys but once again this is not like a mattifying formula but it blends very well okay 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 Chantoy <laughs> blends very well okay so then now I'm going in with my Jackie I know the palette and we gonna see what she got going on boo and I am so excited about this palette, girl. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to just go ahead and open up these brushes that y'all just got today. Uploaded today. And I think I'm going to go in with my Delineum, Delineum Tools, my 772 brush. And I'm going to just go ahead and tap into the credit. No, edges. I'm going to tap into edges, girl. And, um, she also has this wonderful, wonderful mirror. Look at that. I think I'm going to just go ahead and peel that sticker off. And just use this mirror that she provided for us. And I'm just going to tap into edges dust that excess off and then I'm gonna just hit all up in that crease very pigmented now this 772 brush it's soft but it's very very dense it's giving me that detail that I want But it's not giving me that, that blendy that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my blendy brush by the Delineum Tools. That's going to be that 776 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. That edges out. Because I want that edges to, girl, I want it to be soft and subtle. Okay. Okay, Shun Toy. Okay. I just want it to be soft and subtle. A nice little transition color for me. And that little. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that over into the left side. Using that same first brush just to apply it but then i'm gonna go ahead and use that blendy brush just to blend it out just the way i want it Cause 
because I want it to be a nice soft transition when I dip into that credit because you know them edges with that credit boo boo I don't want no mistake. I think I'm going to just apply just a little bit more. I'm not going to dip back into the pan. I'm just going to use what's already on that um, 772 brush. And just reapply. But this time I'm just going to just... Just use it. To deepen the. To deepen what's already there. You know what I'm saying girl. Beautiful. 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 And then I'm just going to take that on the left side. But this time I'm just going to tap into the pan just a little bit. Because these colors are very, very pigmented. Jackie Ina, she did her thing, girl. And I'm just going to dab that on just along the thing. Because I just don't want to pick up too much color as I intensify that lid. Girlfriend, do you see where I'm coming from? Then I'm going to take my blendy brush and just blend, 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 blend. Because you know it's all about the blend. But this time I'm just going to blend it out just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like that. Meanwhile, I'm going to reach over and grab this Kleenex. Take my um brush bath by It's Cosmetics. Keep my brushes clean. I'm going to spritz. Got to keep my brushes clean. And plus, I know that I'm going to use my little brandy brush again. My blendy, my my blending brush again. And then this is just the way the, um, you know, when I'm, um, brush clean. Blendy brush clean. Okay, so we're moving on. I'm moving on, on, on. I need something to go in. Go in. I need a soft brush. Something that's going to deepen this um, edges. That soft. Add a little depth to it. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Delinium Tools, this 766. I'm going to dip into credit. That's that brown color right here. And just so you know, that's edges right there. That's credit. I'm just going to dip into that. make sure i just these colors are very very pigmented so guys if you just want if you don't want a very very um deep look I recommend you tap, tap, tap when you go in or go in with a very light hand. Since I'm so heavy handed, I have to tap and 
make sure that I personally spread out on each side. Okay. No, if y'all like me talking or y'all rather me play music, thumbs up this video. Or if y'all rather me play music instead and do the it's a look, comment in the comment section down below. I'm gonna take this uh 77, seven, I mean 788 just to blend out that brown just a little bit more. want nothing over the top because like I said that's what I'm working with right now very soft very subtle then I think I'm gonna use this same blending brush and over my lid I'm gonna go in with this color right here ginger And I'm going to just blend it out on the lid. Going in, tapping off excess. That's what I'm working with. Doing the same, tapping off excess. Okay, so then I think I'm going to go in with Zam. That's that pretty glittery color right there. And I think I'm going to put that. I think I'm going to put that over that, gin that ginger. Over the lid. Very pretty. I'm just patting it on and patting it on. I don't want anything really major for this video. A really easy look. Jackie Ina, this palette is pretty. I heard that this palette had a lot of fallout. I'm not really experiencing that though. at all these colors are very pretty very pretty very gorgeous very easy to work with very good for the fall color i mean just for the fall period Just packing that on. And I love the fact that this glitter, these glittery colors stay. No glue, no nothing. You could just put them on. Look at that. Nice, simple looks.
I am going to take this 776 and I'm going to tap into this big wig just a little bit. And right where the glitter and stuff in, I'm going to just blend that in. Right there in the crease. Tap. Oh, I love playing in makeup. Guys, I was like, man, I can't wait till my eye heals. Like. very very pretty man this palette is everything so then i'm gonna just take soleil up there at the top i'm gonna put that in my inner corner why does it keep going out of focus i'm gonna put that right there and up there and i'm gonna use that 772 brush to accomplish that Instead of having harsh lines, I'm just going to go ahead and take my blendy brush and blend everything in. Tapping into edges and credit access. so now the eyes are pretty much to my liking I got this ring light on me just so y'all can kind of see I'm gonna probably have to oh. move it to the side here just so y'all can really see what's going on Ooh. take pictures and insert them but so far what I'm feeling I'm really feeling this palette though the shadows are very I didn't really have any fallout I heard that there was a lot of fallout with this palette no everything that you could possibly need for as a shadow you got your match you got your shimmers your transitions your bolts everything that you could possibly need in the palette right here perfect feeling jackie Ina's palette loving it to death um just i don't really want to hold y'all up really too much 
far as my little eye look, my lighting is not really doing it justice, but... Before we do the liner and everything, I can take a picture real quick. And insert it. I'm not going to do lashes. Just because I'm more in tune with the individuals. Okay, so it's just a very soft, very soft, shimmery, shimmery, shimmery look. Feeling it, okay? Every day. So, next I'm going to go in with this pencil. It is by Sephora. It is the cold, long lasting cold stick. That's pretty much what it looks like. I mean... It's a it's a black eyeliner pencil. Right now I can tell you that it is very intense. very intense and I can tell that this is the type of pencil that you could smudge out if you needed to like this would be the perfect pencil To do smoky eyes with look at that perfect I look is coming together next I'm going to use for my wing line I am going to use this eyeliner precision by Sephora it is in the color black I love liners with Look, you can't even see it. But with the brushes like that. I think what it is, my ring light is causing my camera to go out of focus. So, what I'm going to do is... Okay, so guy, I kind of messed up the wing liner. Uh -uh. I'm going to show you how to fix it here in a minute. 
I'm gonna let it dry down some and then we're gonna go into fix it mode just because my eye isn't all the way healed I know no no but I'm pretty much clear to do makeup I know I don't know why guys like I am just shaking over here So my phone is ringing. I forgot to put it on silent. It's cool. So that's pretty much not much for a wing liner. So correcting this eye. What I'm going to do. Get one of these little pencils. I'm going to go back into this pen, this palette. And I'm going to go back into Zam. And I'm going to coat it pretty pretty well. And what I'm going to do, is just go and sharpen my mistake. moving forward so then I am going to go in with this uh, mini benefit roller lash I've heard so many good 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 um good 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 um good 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 Good, 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 good. Good. When I say good. When I say good. reviews on this I've heard good reviews on this guys like like people have given this product such good reviews like Hold on.
Okay, so my eye was not astounded, people. Okay, so anyway, back to this roller lash. Um, what I ended up back to hold on, back to this eye. I just spritzed it, wiped off the a little bit where I messed up, then went back into the ginger, and then went back into the zam, and then you know reapply. Okay, but I've been just hearing so much about this roller lash, like it's just it. But let's take a moment of silence. <laughs> For these bristles I love wands like this I don't really like the volumizing wands so much um the ones with the big brushes um those do nothing for me it's the wands with the little intricate brushes like this so come on let's give it a whirl okay I bought the mini because I'm funny when it comes to mascara. Even though at Sephora if you don't like a product, you can always return it. Up to, I think, 60 or 90 days. But, okay, I kind of see what the hype is about. I don't have on an eyelash primer, and my lashes look phenomenal. It kind of looks like I have falsies on. So, I'm going to be careful when I put it to my lash bottom lash line. I don't really like those to look too overdone. Uh, and I probably um going to have to redo them once I do my face makeup just because I'm always 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 have to redo them I always have to redo them after I do face makeup so I know this is weird but I'm just going to take a little bit of this brush um, spray. As you can see, my lashes are on point. And I'm just going to spritz the wine. Really, 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 really good. And then I'm going to just wipe it off. And guys, please do not share makeup tools like um i make up with nobody because it just gets nasty especially because of issues mine is just due to sinuses but i just um do it because I just did that because one of my eyes had a sty on it the sty is gone but You never can be too safe. So I like to comb up and then I like to back comb it when I um, do my mascara. I just feel like it just.
Add that volume. Okay, so guys, I'm going to try something a little different tonight. When applying my uh, foundation, I am going to use both a beauty blender and, you know what, I did not get my highlighter. So, hold on, let me go get my highlighter. Girls, 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 when your closet is in one room and you record in another one. Okay, so I'm going to try something different. I'm going to apply my um, foundation with this brush as well as the Beauty Blender. And tonight I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Weightless Foundation Stay Naked um, by Urban Decay in 70 and N. Look at that pump. <laughs> Look at that. And what this brush does, it's a buffing brush. this I didn't cause the mess look at that wasting product okay this product is very watery so far like you see how it runs okay okay Shantae in the way the reason why I'm gonna tell you why I do my face makeup her oh her blends very well But, guys, I don't think because my redness is still popping through. Hold on. I think I got too much product on. Just because I had a little situation with the pump. Hold on. I had a little situation with the pump. I had a little situation. Let me get her together. Um, take it on the ears just because I got to be careful with this ear over here down the neck um girl she is dewy and glowy she is giving me goddess vibes look at her oh I like her now see I don't have like skin problems but guys I'm going to tell you, I normally do matte. Now, what I notice is, what I'm noticing is, um, she is not as full coverage because, for me anyway, because my little moles is still poking through. My little moles is still poking through. And normally they be like, you see what I'm saying? They be like gone, gone. And my redness is still poking through. Let me see.
and I can see like my redness from me blending girl All right, let me wet my beauty blender. I'm going to just take my Evian um, facial spray and I'm going to just wet one end of it. This end. And then I'm going to just go in and attack this. Uh. But far as I like, girl, she got me looking up. She got me looking dewy as heck. Like, I look moisturized. Girl, I haven't wore like a, a, a... A... Foundation like this is so long. I've been stuck on that Rihanna. For so long, like... I forgot all about this. Oh, I'm loving this. It's just nice to change up. Especially since if you don't have real oily skin or real dry skin. I don't have either. So, well, I take that back. Like, on my body, I get eczema. So... Yeah, yeah, I know what that's about, but not much on my face. I really don't have issues on my face except I get blackheads up in here. But look at her flawless, that is picture ready right there. That is, I'm yeah, I like this. She blended very well, and I take that back. Yeah, she is bomb. She is definitely bomb. Now I'm about to go in with my concealer. You already know what it is. I put it on my eyes. Now I'm about to put it under eyes. A little on my forehead. Okay. And then now I'm about to take my little mini buffer blush. Brush that I just purchased. To just get her good in there. Man, the way that this foundation and this concealer glides on the skin. But I'm going to tell you this. I don't 
don't think this is for everybody. Like. And the reason why I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say, this is medium to full coverage. And it may be buildable, but I can go full, not full, whatever. And I'm cool with it because the type of skin I have, and I kind of really embrace all of me. Um, I think if you got really bad blemishes, this may not be for you. If you got really oily skin, this may not be for you. If you got things that you you need to cover up like really really bad things you need to cover up this is not for you because i'm gonna just tell you this now sis this does not hide and conceal everything Cause on me, this is like medium coverage. And no, this is not a sponsored video. This is just how I feel about these products. Now, it could be because I'm wearing this Tatcha up under it. But this shit is looking flawless. You hear me, sis? Like, I am not having not one issue with none of this. With none of this. You hear me? Like, none of this. I love the way this concealer just blends in. I love the way. I just love the way. I love the way you kiss me when we're playing the kissing game so what i'm gonna do is with this pointy end i'm gonna just go ahead and wet it with my evian facial spray and i'm gonna just go ahead before i go in with my setting powder just give those like a little blend but for the most part everything is how it should be like this freaking makeup is freaking bomb like i am enjoying every bit of it like so far the the eye palette was bomb the concealer the the concealer the primer i am just blown away with how this is just coming together sus i'm gonna go in with the delineum tools 974 look at how i look on camera and i'm gonna go ahead and go into this laura mercier and um translucent powder in the color d yes because we got melanin sis we got melanin. I guess I'm going to have to shake it up. And I don't even know if I want to use that brush. I'm going to go ahead with this Real Techniques uh, 403. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to just sweep this under my eyes. Just so it can bake. Oh, I, I got too much out now.
I'm just tapping it back, babe. Just tapping it back. Just tapping it back. Okay, and then I'm going to just sweep it under my eyes. Sweep it under my eyes. Let that bake a minute. Woo! And let that sit there for a minute. Go down. Go down. Down. Go just allow now. Down, down, downtown. Okay. Okay. Woo, I tapped too much out. Okay. So while that's baking. While that's baking. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and get into this palette right here. It is the Revolution Poe. Pearl Sculpt and Glow. I'm just gonna do a little fiddling. You know, you feel me, sis? I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques 203. I'm gonna take this brown color. Just, you know, because I don't have a contour, I'm just going to, I don't have a contour or a blush, but I'm going to go into this, my Jackie Ina palette and and make one. Cause like I told you, real people do real thing. There we go. Then I'm going to just take this little brush right here. Man, all my brushes are dirty. <laughs> I'm going to just take that highlight color. Dust off my little bag. When the breasts don't do it, sometimes you gotta use your hand.
All right, so I'm going to go back into this Jackie Ina palette and see which color looks like blush. I think this pinker. So what I'm going to do with pinker is I'm going to use this Bamboo 940. Uh, nine. Put it on the cheek. Like that. And then we're going to blend. We're going to blend like there's no tomorrow. And I think you're still too little bright for me. So I'm going to take this brown and put it on top. Okay. And then put a little, little chapstick on. Okay, so we don't got no, uh, we don't got no liner. So I'm going to just go in with my Belenium Tools. Wait a minute. Matte lipstick. A look like that. Put it on my lip. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the Rev Line Ultra Matte in the color Embrace. And then we're going to go in with this all up all nighter spritz with the double top. Okay, so that concludes my first makeup video. I am so sorry that it is taking too long. It took so long. I will have pictures at the end. Uh, let me know what you think. And be let you, just so you know, you can use one item of makeup. Just because it says that it's eyeshadow, lip liner, or something, 
you can use it for more than just one thing you can use it it has multiple uses don't be scared to have fun with your makeup until next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love you guys I pray, I pray that it's hope for the ladies. I've been looking at the natural soap for ladies.